So, welcome to uh, a small tutorial about Reactor Drone E Ensemble. Uh, let's go through the basic functions of this instrument. Uh, let's start by initializing everything. So, here we have the sample selector and the speed of the samples. Let's select anything from this sample map here below, which is a sample map I made for my new bank. No boundaries for drone. So let's take maybe the saxophone phrase I recorded, which is sample 48. We can use the pre-listen button to check what it sounds like. So it's a deranged saxophone. I treat it with some effects. But maybe let's take something smoother for the start. What about 49? Yeah. 49, so now here we select sample number 49. Then we cho choose uh, playback mode. Triangle is streaming through the samples forwards and backwards. Let's start with that. This slider determines which segment of the sample is played. For now, let's use the whole sample. And here is the play speed. Now I hit a key and activate the reset button, which will always s restart the sample f from the beginning when I don't play overlapping legato. If I do play overlapping legato, the sample playhead will move on through the sample when I press a new pitch, a new key. Let's reduce the speed. And this slider also is linked to the maximum play speed, which is located here. So if I set that to 50%, let's say, or 75, which means the overall play speed is now at 75% of the original sample. So the whole thing will be slowed down even more. So now it's very slow already. Here we have the random position, which will slightly shift the playhead back and forth. So it gets smoother, really. Here at the bottom, we can shape the grains. We can shape the attack of the grain. making it sharper, so for smooth sounds like this, it should be a bit smoother, so and the decay of the grains, how much each grain will decay over time, make that smooth. Here with the uh, envelope section, it's a normal RDSR, ADSR. So now we have a long release, and here we have the velocity. Turn it up to get more expressiveness by playing soft and loud notes, meaning the velocity knob really o affects the overall amplitude of the whole RDSR, which can also be assigned to various parameters in the modulation section, but let's get to that later. Now we have looked at the play speed, random position. If I turn up random position a lot, it will sort of jump back and forth within the selected segment of the sample. But we just want a little bit of that. Now here in this window, we have a slider for pitch, overall pitch. Here we have the length of 
the grains, which is now quite long. This is also linked to the overall uh, grain length, which is located up here. It's now set to 81%. Let's put it up to 100, so to allow the longest possible grains. And now we can make it very short. and its sounds, the grain length can have more dramatic effects. We can modulate the grain length also with this section here, but let's come to that later. frequency range, meaning you see three filters, band reject, high pass and low pass, each one having sliders for f all four samples. I will turn the low pass down now and modulate the low pass by clicking on this, adding some depth. Click on that for sample one. Some depth. Here the high pass. Could also modulate that. Click on the high pass, activate sample one, increase the depth. You see the slider moving here. Same for band reject. Do something here. Choose a triangle wave instead. Now, let's add some reverb. Volume sliders for all four. This is of 
sample one we could also modulate that but we don't want this now now we add in the diffuser section we add a send amount to the reverb module down here turn up the mix diffusion to the right it's spacey reverb typical reactor signature sound stuff the shaping by the colors the symmetry of the room modulation amount and the diffusion knob all to the left turns more into a delay turn the decay and size up single delays which I like for the sound actually turn the decay down a bit now we could add another sample let's combine the saxophone sound maybe with a tie gong I sampled let's listen to it first texture of several accents so this is number 38 select the sample number 38 activate it let's listen to it first make it let's just choose let's say the middle section and set it now to random playhead so the playhead will now randomly scroll through the sample determined also by the overall play speed let's turn the grain length down so now you hear the single grains random length and random position this will now widely jump through the whole segment but this is too nervous for the sound just a little bit to add a tiny bit of grain modulation yeah. now bring it in tune starts from beginning which means there will be no continuous soft transition of filter modulation Lo so let's turn the sync button off which will now change this behavior 